linear regression. So today we're going to learn this simple machine learning tool to uh, fit the line uh, given some data points. So you may have guessed this. We have a bunch of points over here, the blue things. And we're trying to find a trend. So there's, there's a different way you can do it. You can like, if you ballpark it, you just take one point that looks like in the middle and then at the end of it, another point that looks like is in the middle and you fit it. What if you have like tons and tons of, of data like this and you just want to fit it once without even looking at the data, you need to programmatically do it. So we're going to do that in C++. So linear regression, what do we have? We have this. This is the equation. And here we have the intercept. Here we have the slope, right? And basically with the data points, a bunch of X and Y, we want to try to find those two. That's basically it. So how we do this, we try to minimize a cost function. So we're going to try a bunch of lines and then uh, it's going it's to suck. And then we're going to try to make it suck less. That's it. So um, let's say we, we fit the line like this and then it's not that good. And if we fit the line like this, it's a bit better. And we start moving the line until we, we hit a threshold where um, the, we have the best fitting line. So to know what the best fitting line is, we use the cost function. So here, this is it. We're trying to minimize right, this thing, which is the mean square. Uh, pretty much is the mean square error. So what do you have? You have your predicted i, uh, y with the real y's, right? And you subtract those and you put that to, uh, to the power of two. And then you sum all of those, all of your prediction, all of your, all your data points. And then um, you divide it by m. That's it. You're just trying to minimize this value. So this is what we have. How do we um, fix our a's? Or our weights uh, given this, and uh, we use gradient descent. This is something you, you will see quite often. So it's a method of editing the weights to reduce the cross function and um, squared error. So that's pretty much it. How do we update it? Right, we take, we go from the mean square error, right? And we just um, using linear algebra, basically, we, uh, so we uh, substitute everything over here and we calculate the gradient. And it's the gradient that we're going to subtract, um, basically. So to do that, we need to take the different, the partial derivative of uh, a0 and a1 of this function over here. Right. So if we fast forward this, we get to here. Uh, you should know a bit of linear algebra just to know how you got there. But uh, that's not really the point right now. So this is how we update this. We have a0, the new a0 equals the old one minus, this is the learning rate, times two to the n, and then this is the, the value you calculate, sum. And for a1, it's almost the same thing, when you multiply by x, i, over here. Why? Because of this linear algebra, partial derivative. That's it. So we're gonna uh, iterate many times until we get to that, right? So we'll get to the, the, the global minimum. Right? So if we're using something like Python, we're gonna, we're gonna get to something like this. And it's super simple because we have a um, high computing library like NumPy. But we're gonna do it in C++, so it's uh, more, more uh, lower uh, level we're gonna get to. How do we know if we did good, right? This is something I didn't say. How do you know that the line that we fit here is good enough? So to do that, we're gonna calculate the R2 score. So the R2 score is the way that to calculate how much you messed it up. It's the coefficient of determination, right? So um, the formula, the, the most general formula is this. So it's one minus the sum of square of the residual divided by sum of square of total. When you have stuff like this, just look at what they actually are and just read it carefully. So here, the sum of square of residual is this. So um, the actual true value minus what you predicted, right? Sum them up and you, you uh, with power of two, you sum all of them up. And that's it, you get the sum square residual. And for the total, it's uh, almost the same thing. 
So like it's um, the true value minus the mean of the true value. Uh, expand to when you sum them up. And then this is your uh, coefficient of determination. So this is how we, this will tell us if we're doing good or if we're just getting worse. So if we get to the code, um, so you have the main here, you have your x and your y's. First thing you do is you load some data, right? So you read CSV, you read the file name, so this thing, and this is what we're trying to fit. It's just one, zero, this is the x's, this is the y's, and we're just trying to fit with this. This should give us something like y equal um, 1, because this is the intercept, plus 1, 2 times x. That's it, it's just a line. I'm going to be increasing like this. So we read the CSV, we fit the thing, and then we output the, we output our, our function. Okay. So it, this thing is doing. So let's look at linear regression function I made. So um, you have your x, your y's, and you have to put the length everywhere because um, those are pointers. So it's just it's a formality. So we mallocate a bunch of stuff over here, right? For the weight and the prediction. And then here we use our gradient distance algorithm to find the best fit. So I set an max number of epochs because this thing can go on forever. I set up a learning rate here. I set the, the intercept and the slope to be zero of them. It doesn't matter what they are though. Fit zero at the beginning. And then uh, it just iterates until I'm done. And when I'm done, I return the weight. Because they will be changed inside. So what do I do? First, I fit. Given the x and some weights, I fit them and I get back a y prediction. Right? And then, uh, given that, this is the, the prediction is all here. What do I do? I update the weights now, given my y prediction and the x and y's. So the weights will be changed. And then I just calculate the mean square error. And I iterate. So that's, that's how it is. You fit and you update. You do that many times. So if we look at fit now, what's happening over here, right? You have x, weight, y, pad, and length. And forget about length. This is the size of this. Right? So I just calculate this, giving the formula. This is the intercept. This is the slope. And I do times the x. And that's it. Right? That's how I fit the thing. Now, um, here, now we go to update. Here we are, right? How do we update? The new a0 equal a0 minus this constant and this sum over here. Okay. Remember, remember that. This is what I have coded over there. So, that's how I do it. What do I do? I do my weights 0 equals 0, this is the intercept, minus the multiplier, which is this thing, and times the sum of the intercept, this thing, over here. Just put it in the function so I don't have to have it ugly over here. This is for the slope. So I do both of those things. And that's it. There's nothing else. So now, if we look at what actually here, uh, there are a bunch of things that are, are um, hidden from you. It's a mean square error, this is hidden, and the intercept sum and the slope sum. Slope sum. I've put, put them into rtl.h, uh, rtl.tv. So if we look at them, what is the slope sum? It's literally this, right? I'm, I calculate this sum over here, so I'm doing this minus the prediction minus what I, what I actually have. That's all I'm doing. So here, if you look at this loop uh, for the intercept, so at zero, this is, those are my residual. I for all of the, the things right, in the array, I just calculate my residual and I sum them. That's it. I just sum the residual. And this is the same thing for the slope. I sum. Uh, I add the residual. I sum them and the axis. And this is what's happening over here. That's it for those two. And if we look at mean squared error, right? Um, what it is, it's just the residual sum of square. That's 
that basically means what mean square there is divided by the length. That's it. And if we look at what is the residual sum of square, it's if you remember this, this is the residual sum of square, right? And the mean square error is this divided by n. Okay. Look back. This divided by n. Perfect, so that's it. You calculate your residual over here and then you do residual times residual to do the square thing, right? And then once you calculate those, you divide by length. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much that. There's nothing more to it. Um, is this good code right now? No. This is a um, bad way of writing the algorithm. Why? Because uh, it's not class-based. There's a lot of stuff that you need to pass around that should be um, so that should become a global variable uh, within this uh, classifier class. For instance, length is repeated many times. Um, really ugly to have it over everywhere, right? Look like slash. Um, and uh, there's there's the x and y that gets passed around also for not uh, so there's no added value to that. So we're gonna refactor this, and we're gonna. I'm gonna show you um, a new version of this, which is a bit more clean. Okay, so we did some cleanup, and now it's actually looking uh, pretty good. So we have the main over here. This is the variable initialization, like before. Um, this is our regression variable. Before they were they were in the function. Now they are in the global in the in the main. And now this is how we train. Right, you have a, a model, which you give some data, and then you. you you make this model and after that you train it right and uh, that is how um, you start the model and over here this is how we test we have uh, a new x and we're going to try to predict what the y should be given this x and here we're just printing a bunch of stuff but this is a clean remain and this is the the, the class based model now so x y length and weight are now model variables and this is the constructor, right? Give you x, your y, and your length. And then you're just gonna copy the x's and the y's, right? Just not change them. Um, if you're doing anything, then in the model. And then uh, over here, we set up some weights. And that's it, this is the constructor, this is the structure. And this is just an helper function to print the weight. This is where the thing happened. It's the same thing as before, except we have way less um, Cluttering variables over here that are getting passed around. Uh, the, the whole algorithm look cleaner, and um, yeah, that's it. And this is the predict, which is we're just returning the intercept plus the slope times the x. And everything we we use to um, to actually make the calculation over here are not needed by the user or in the private sections of the the class. So. That's it, and then the la last thing that needs to be done is you take this thing, you ship it into another file, and um, you never look at it again until you need to tweak it. All right, so let's actually um, see the output of this. Let's compile this thing with G++, and then just, just run this. So don't forget, we should get at the end Y equal um, one plus one times x because it's a it's a line with an intercept of one and a slope of one. If we look at that. First situation we have this at eleven. That means quite error because we were at zero zero, and then it goes down. And then we could have stopped here after hundred iteration, but here when we get to um, when we run through the thousands, we get to one uh, x plus one, and this is actually good because the x was. Uh, 123 and it should be um, 123 times 1 plus 1 that's 124 so it's a success perfect so I hope uh, that was helpful um, the code will be available on the github page and let me know if you have any questions